from fields of ambrosia. Bath body aroma. <laughs> Thank you for I, anyway, what a team we are. Of course. So you are here, of course, to talk about all the great things that you have. And a uh, quick overview on fields of ambrosia, bath body and aroma. Um, started in 2001 um, because I had all these plants, herbs, flowers in my garden. I wanted to do something with them. So I decided to start making soaps. Um, and then I decided to start learning more about essential oils and um, holistic healing when my sister was diagnosed with cancer. Um, I came up with a line of actual products for her to help her through her chemo and her radiation treatments. Um, we unfortunately lost her in May, uh, March of 2001, and that's when I incorporated. I decided to m keep the company going and to continue to explore, make new products, help people um, heal themselves without, you know, going to the doctor. There you go. <laughs> well, that's great. And of course, you've grown. Uh, Drastically, I guess is the right word in that time. Drastically, hmm. hmm. immensely, exponentially, exponentially. Yeah. Yes, we have. I'm sure we can come up with a better <laughs> word than drastically. But well, yeah, we started out really small. Um, we didn't have a storefront, an actual storefront, until 2007. Prior to that, we did craft shows and wholesale shows. I sold to a lot of uh, small gift shops. Um, sold in Zebs for a while. Um, I used to see you drive around, like, you know, open up your trunk, you know, pull up, and, <laughs> hey, you want some bath body and oils? Open up the trunk. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, don't do that with bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. But uh, a lot of great things. So let's talk about all this stuff. And the, and the amazing thing is, because I was looking at this stuff, is you make all this stuff. This is not, you don't buy, you don't buy this five gallon pail of, uh, belly butter and then just squeeze it in here and put your name on it. You add all these ingredients and you make this. We do. We make all of our product in the store. However, with the exception of <laughs> that one, this cream. you get in a five no. gallon tub. No. <laughs> um, I actually uh, came up with the formula for this, for this particular cream that, and it's the base that I use in all of my creams. Um, and as the company grew, um, it's a time consuming process. And so now I have a company in Toronto um, that is well known for um, making uh, natural products without preservatives. And so they make this formula for me and I sh and ship it to me in five gallon buckets. So <laughs> wow, I'm like, I'm um, like a, a suit sayer there. Uh, it's true. Uh, but what I do then is when I get the basic cream that I developed, I add essential oils to it in um, different combinations. Well, this that's particular okay. one, this particular one is the the uh, mommy's belly butter, which is wonderful for helping to prevent stretch marks and also to tighten the skin after baby is born too. And we do that also in a massage oil. Um, but our little baby our baby products are we don't do two for mom, quite a few more for baby. Um, we use chamomile and lavender oils in there, pure essential oils. They're the two mildest oils mm -hmm. um, around. They're very relaxing, very calming, because baby gets pretty fussy <laughs> in their first year. Um, but we make for them um, a, an all-natural Castile-based, which is olive oil, um, bubble bath. Uh, we do a, an all-natural talc-free powder for baby. We do what we call tiny hiney cream. <laughs> um, don't use it on yourself. It won't work. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to get any tinier. But what can I say? Um, we do something called uh, Sandman Pillow Spray. It's uh, very soothing, helps baby to fall asleep. Um, and then, you know, just a couple other little compliments to that line. We've got cute little scrubbies for baby. And then if you decide to keep your baby's first curl or first tooth, have we these. have these are very cool. We have a sweet little gift item that uh, people really love, and it's these little boxes uh, for the first tooth and first curl. Right. So. Well, that's cool because you know the, uh, people are always having babies. You know, it's kind of <laughs> one of those things. People have babies, <laughs> and so you always want to find something nice for them, and as opposed to just going and getting, you know, the commercial products off the shelf, right. we'll call it, uh, right. coming and getting some stuff that obviously was. You know, it sounds corny, but created with love. It sounds more like uh, like that's what you're all about. Yeah, well, you know, when it's handmade, it is. You know, um, there's so many product lines out there right now that um, started out small and they've grown so much that now that they send all their product off to be made in a factory somewhere. Right. And they still keep their natural branding and all of that, but it's no longer made by hand. And with us, it still is. Right. And is I'm not something. looking to grow that large so that I have <laughs> to send it out there. I'm a little bit controlling that right. way. No, that's cool. Um, what else you got here? Um, another line that we have that's also um, done with um, 
some wonderful essential oils. Again, lavender. Lavender is kind of like Mother Nature's medicine chest. It's good for I just about everything. Um, so it has lavender. It has um, bergamot and tea tree oils in it. It's our eczema line, which is um, also good for psoriasis, for shingles, um, helps with herpes breakouts, that sort of thing, any kind of topical breakout. Mm -hmm. um, and we do a whole line of that. We do a, a shampoo for people who have uh, scalp problems, and we have a scalp oil that's a, a heavier duty treatment for that. And we infuse jojoba oil with calendula and then add our essential oils to that. So it's really intense. So if you have really bad scalp problems, that's the product to use. And then we have bar soaps and scrubs and shower gels and creams. And so we just try to cover all the bases because some folks have eczema in little spots or yeah. psoriasis all over their body. I mean, I had a, a poor woman come in the other day and all up and down her arms, her, she was just peeling. And she tried out the, the cream because um, we have testers for everything, and an hour later came back to the store and bought the entire line. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> and that's what I love to see, because we do that. We let people try the product out and say, go away, see how it works for you, and come back if it does. Yeah, well, that's great. That's and, uh, and then we do um, a line of acne care uh, with tea tree oil specifically. Um, again, one of Mother Nature's miracle little oils. And what it does is it's an antibacterial oil, so it really helps to fight um, the bacteria that gets in the pores, which is what causes right. acne. Um, and we have, a, we have an essential oil guide that we keep in the store. So that if people want to know a little bit more about what we're putting into their product, they can actually look it up. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. So That's a good thing. And now, now, this is just a sampling, though. It's a, it's a sampling. This is a, three of our specialty care lines. Uh, we do have more in our specialty line. We call it our rural remedies a muscle therapy line for muscle aches and pains, arthritis, that sort of thing. Uh, we do a line of peppermint um, geared for foot care and leg care. It's a natural deodorant, so that works well. And then we have some facial care lines. We have men's products, which I believe you have used in the past, but I did not bring them today, unfortunately. Uh, that's okay. I was well, trying to concentrate on talking about the, the wonderful things that essential oils do with, with our products. Now, do you have, you mentioned that you started making soap. Mm -hmm. So do you have, not the original bar of soap, but that same original soap? The same recipe? Yeah. Completely the same recipe. <laughs> Got the same bar of soap. I haven't um, sold it I yet. Might, I might actually yeah. still have one from maybe 2003 hidden away, but <laughs> but it lasts forever. I mean, you could I could take it out of a box right now and it would still be good and probably last for six months because handmade soaps do indeed last longer than commercial soaps. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, Fields of Ambrosia, Bath, Body, and Home is located uh, right here in Norcross Place, yes. right in North Conway. Yes. So if you're going to the train station, of course, you kind of go, well, to the right, I guess, of the train station, if you're looking at it, into Norcross Place. And, of course, there you are, right there at Bath, there Body, and Home. There we are. And, of course, you've got a website, too. We do, fieldsofambrosia.com. Uh, we're open seven days a week. Um, you can call us to order or, we ha or go to the website, of course. Everything ships from the store, so it's just as easy to call, and you don't have to put your credit card information out on the web. Um, but, you know, some people order at 2 in the morning, so yep. That's it. <laughs> it's good to have the website. Calling the State Farm agent and getting stuff from uh, Bath, Body, <laughs> yes. and Home. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, Deb, thanks so much for coming by. Well, it's always a pleasure to be here, and I love to, love to come down and show the product and help educate people.